If you had listened to the Portuguese press in January, Victor Lindelof to Manchester United was effectively a done deal. The Swedish defender, not Portuguese, uh, was linked with Manchester United so heavily. And as I said, the Portuguese press were absolutely convinced that he was moving to Old Trafford in January. Alas, he didn't move. Alas, he signed a new contract with a contract release clause that was upped to 60 million euros. But once again, the Victor Lindelof to Manchester United rumours are back in earnest. It all started off by Sky Sports when they were linking Victor Lindelof, Michael Keane and Virgil van Dijk to Man United, saying that Jose Mourinho had given Ed Woodward a list of three centre-backs, those three I named, one of which he wanted to sign this summer. Since then, the rumours really have accelerated to the point where Portuguese newspaper record are saying that Man United and Benfica have already agreed a deal together and that it was just up to agreeing the final details with Lindelof himself and Ebola are saying that an announcement is due next week. Now, when it comes to Lindelof, it's very important to understand what the Portuguese press are saying. Anything that you normally consume over here, Sky Sports, Telegraph, Independent, all those newspapers, the majority of them take their stories from the Portuguese press. It's a player that plays in the Portuguese league. That is where the stories are breaking, which is exactly why we're showing you the full story of what has happened with Lindelof in the last week or so to give you a full understanding of where this transfer stands. Now, on the 30th of May, Abola really got the rumours started again. They're saying that Manchester United were going to make a final assault to try and sign Victor Lindelof because obviously... We were linked with him so heavily in January. Ebola, Jornal de Noticias, uh, Ojogo, all the Portuguese outlets were so confident that Lindelof was moving to Manchester United. Reports of Benfica's president, Luis Felipe Vieira, was, was in Manchester. That's what they said in January. That's happened again and we'll explain that a little bit later on. But the Portuguese press throughout this whole time have been so adamant that Lindelof is going to come to Manchester United and the rumours, as I said, are back with a bang. Then on the 31st of May, Ojogo is saying that Luis Felipe Vieira was in Manchester to agree the final details of Lindelof's move to Manchester United and Abola has supported these claims. As I said, this was said in January as well. Maybe he was in Manchester in January. The transfer didn't happen then. Hopefully, or maybe hopefully, it happens now. But the reports are coming out once again. Then on the 1st of June, Correo de Mana, they are saying that Benfica are not willing to accept 45 million euros for Lindelof and that they want the full 60 million euro release clause. If Manchester United were to pay that, that would make him our most expensive ever centre-back. I'm not sure if Rio Ferdinand still holds the record uh, for that. Uh, probably with the transfer prices going up and down, it's hard to compare a player that was signed back then to a player that's signed now, but it certainly would be a very expensive signing. And I suppose that's going to be the case for every club, or at least Manchester United, in the transfer windows these days. Prices are so inflated that it's kind of hard to keep a grasp of what the reality is. But Correo de Mana are saying that Benfica want the full 60 million. Would Manchester United be willing to pay that? And then Victor Lindelof himself got involved in the situation. He was speaking to his local newspaper in Vasteras back in Sweden and he is saying this. He said, it's the same rumours as always, talking about Manchester United. My answer, as always, is that I feel great at Benfica and that's where my focus is. I'm still young and I'm constantly evolving. Portuguese football gives me a lot. Personally, the rumours don't affect me. So Lindelof is doing his best just to, you know, cool the rumours down a little bit. But it hasn't stopped the whole Portuguese impress coming out in unison the very next day, effectively saying, look, man, this transfer is happening. If you look at Ojogo, you look at Abola, you look at Record, you look at Correo de Mana, all of them are in unison saying that Lindelof to Manchester United is going to happen. With Record going a little step further saying that a deal's already done for 30 million euros plus 5 million in player bonuses. So it's kind of hard to keep on top of the. We've seen 45 million as a figure, 35, 30 plus 5, and 60. Is it guesswork in the Portuguese press? There's probably an element of guesswork in all press situations when it comes to transfers. That's just the nature of them. But Lindelof himself is trying to play it down. But as I said, the Portuguese press, and they've stayed very strong on this. They were strong in January. They've come back just as strong in the summer. They are saying that Lindelof to Manchester United is effectively an inevitability. It's a case of when and not if. 
Do you want Lindelof? Do you think Lindelof is the answer to our problems at centre-back? I think we've already discussed him previously, whether Van Dijk would be a better option than Lindelof, or maybe Michael Keane himself. But once again, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Is £60 million too much for a player who's only played in the Portuguese league? Is it too much of a risk for Jose Mourinho to make? Or can he be the person to partner Eric Bailly and give Man United the defence we need to compete in the Premier League and the Champions League next season? Let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video, people. Uh, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. See you soon. Take it easy.